Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says If cosec phi minus sin phi is equal to n cube and sec phi minus cos phi is equal to n cube prove that m square into n square into m square plus n square is equal to 1. So let's see its solution now. We are given that cosec phi minus sin phi is equal to m cube and sec phi minus cos phi is equal to n cube and we need to prove that m square into n square into m square plus n square is equal to 1. Now first consider cosec phi minus sin phi equal to m cube. So we have m cube is equal to 1 upon sin phi minus sin phi. Since we know that sin theta is equal to 1 upon cosec theta. So cosec phi would be equal to 1 upon sin phi. So this gives us m cube is equal to sin phi in the denominator and in the numerator 1 minus sin square phi in the numerator. So further we get m cube is equal to cos square phi upon sin phi since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So 1 minus sin square theta is equal to cos square theta. So we have written 1 minus sin square phi as cos square phi. So we have got m cube equal to cos square phi upon sin phi. So from here we can say that m is equal to cos 2 upon 3 phi upon sine 1 upon 3 phi. So we have got the values of m cube and m. Now next we have m cube is equal to sec phi minus cos phi. This means n cube is equal to 1 upon cos phi minus cos phi since we know that cos theta is equal to 1 upon sec theta so we can write sec phi as 1 upon cos phi. Further we get n cube is equal to cos phi in the denominator. In the numerator we have 1 minus cos square phi thus we get n cube is equal to sin square phi upon cos phi since we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta and hence we have written 1 minus cos square phi as sin square phi from here we get n is equal to sin 2 upon 3 phi upon cos 1 upon 3 phi. So now we have got the values for n cube and n. We were supposed to prove that m square into n square into m square plus n square is equal to 1. So now we shall consider the LHS that is equal to m square into n square into m square plus n square which is equal to m to the power 4 into n square plus m square into n to the power 4. Or you can say this is equal to m cube into m into n square plus n cube into n into m square. So now we can substitute the values for m cube, n cube, m, n, m square and n square. So this is equal to, now the value of m cube is 
cos square phi upon sin phi. So, this would be equal to cos square phi upon sin phi. This into the value of m which is cos 2 upon 3 phi upon sin 1 upon 3 phi. And this into n square. Now the value of n is equal to sine 2 upon 3 phi upon cos 1 upon 3 phi. So n square is given by sine 4 upon 3 phi upon cos 2 upon 3 phi plus n cube. Now the value of n cube is sine square phi upon cos phi. This into n which is sine 2 upon 3 phi upon cos 1 upon 3 phi. This into n square. Now that we have n is equal to cos 2 upon 3 phi upon sine 1 upon 3 phi. So n square is given by cos 4 upon 3 phi upon sine 2 upon 3 phi. Now this is further equal to cos square phi upon sine phi. This into now sine 4 upon 3 phi upon sine 1 upon 3 phi is given as sine phi and this cos 2 upon 3 phi and cos 2 upon 3 phi cancels. Now this plus sine square phi upon cos phi this into now cos 4 upon 3 phi upon cos 1 upon 3 phi is given as cos phi and sin 2 upon 3 phi, sin 2 upon 3 phi cancels. Now here sin phi and sin phi cancels, cos phi and cos phi cancels and this is equal to cos square phi plus sin square phi which is equal to 1. Since we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 and this is equal to the RHS. Thus we get n square into n square into n square plus n square is equal to 1. So hence proved this completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.